The following content is provided by the students of King Saud bin Abdulaziz University for Health Sciences. As a part of the College of Applied Medical Sciences Virtual Academy, your support will help us to continue providing educational contents. This video is about the mechanical pipette which is almost the most important device inside any laboratory procedure that deals with liquid transfer. The mechanical pipette is used to transfer small volumes of liquids. Since laboratory procedures usually involve small liquid volumes, the pipette has to be accurate. Therefore, a procedure to ensure the accuracy of the pipettes is a must in order to make sure that your pipette is actually drawing and dispensing the right volumes for accurate and reliable results. There are multiple methods to check your pipette accuracy but in our laboratory we follow the gravimetric method provided by ISO. We use ISO method because it's a standard method and it involves three levels, 100%, 50% and 10% of the maximum volume. Before you start determine the Z-factor. The Z-factor is determined by measuring the temperature and the atmospheric pressure. The use the table provided by ISO to locate the Z-factor that matches your temperature and atmospheric pressure. The Z-factor is 1.0034, because the temperature of our laboratory is 23 degrees Celsius and the atmospheric pressure is 95 kilopascal. Now we can start. Put the flask on the balance. Note, it is recommended to have water in the flask prior starting the procedure. Blanket to prevent your flask's weight from interfering with your measurements. Put on a tip suitable to pipe head to be calibrated. It is recommended to draw and dispense multiple times, to wet the tip before using it. Then, draw 100% of pipette's maximum volume, then dispense it in the flask to measure its weight. Record the weight on your notebook. Repeat the same procedure 9 more times. After 10 measurements, repeat the same procedure with 50% and 10% of the maximum volume. Multiply each single measurement by the Z-factor to correct your measurements. These are our measurements. Multiply by the Z-factor. Calculate the systemic and random errors using the corrected measurements. Again these are our results. And these are the calculations for each volume. Obtain the maximum permissible error from ISO 8655 protocol. Our pipette is good to go since all of the results are below the maximum permissible error.